remember one day I was at a crime scene uh, where many had died, and uh, it was a hard place to be. And a uh, one of the workers, the rescue workers, uh, was there, and to identify us, we had our roles. And so I had the word chaplain written, and he came up to my face, mm. and as angry as you can imagine, he said what I think most people really feel inside, your God has no idea of this suffering. Mm. He has no identity of, of, of feeling what we feel in mm. this mess. Wow. He's up there in his high holy heaven right. and has no concept of what we deal with on an everyday. He has no concept of smelling and of seeing and of feeling what we have to go through in life. Right. I want nothing to do with your God. Mm. And, and that I think that disconnect is what yeah. people feel, sure. is that God is up there, we're in this mess, and when we're in this mess, it's his fault. Mm -hmm. Because either he doesn't allow it mm -hmm. or he doesn't care. Right. inside. Right. Um, it, if, if he doesn't allow it, then maybe he cares. Right. But, but if we have to go through it, yeah. then where is he? Right. Uh, where is he as we go through these things? Mm. And, the, and the end result is he's not here. Uh, and and, and the, in that particular crime scene, which was a stunning moment in my life, only because the crime scene was devastating. Mm. And when that gentleman was done with me and he didn't want to hear from me, he wanted to yell mm. and get it out. Your God doesn't know these things. Mm. I, I walked a little way past the crime scene and a policeman came up next to me. We got talking and he took me back. There were some woods that were back there. And as we went back in the woods, um, there happened to be one of the people who died um, mm. in a tree. And we stood there for a moment. And as we stood, which felt to me very holy ground, mm -hmm. I had the answer in my soul mm -hmm. for every piece of why we as Christians do what we do. Because he isn't high in his holy heaven, knowing nothing about our suffering. Right. He came, he went to that tree. Right. He knows our suffering. Yeah. He knows our pain. I got yeah. to actually be there while the rescue workers put a ladder against that tree and climbed that tree and took that body down and escorted that body you know, to the refrigeration truck that went off to the morgue. Mm. But inside that, for me, was the greatest gift mm. because we do have a message if we're willing to hear it uh, and this is the ground of it. Our Lord knows our sufferings. He knows the depth of our sufferings. He bore the depth of our pain. And if he bore the depth of our pain, he knows how to meet us in anything. So um, you want to talk about real, he knows real. And if we avoid real, then what message do we have?